Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to do another hot butcher for the world beer. This is their Brain Forest. And this is a big one guys. This is a 10 and a half percenter. Enigma Hopped Triple IPA. That's what it says on the front here. Uh, this was sent to me by Jeremiah who's with Hot Butcher for the World. Thanks a bunch Jeremiah, I do appreciate it. Uh, this was put in a can on 10-13 of 2020. So, uh, Right out a month old, uh, as I review it, and I'm a little bit ahead, uh, so uh, you probably won't see this till probably after Thanksgiving, maybe even in, in December, because I'm that far ahead, uh, with all the wonderful beers that's been sent to me by Greg and Jeremiah and, and uh, Peter. I do appreciate everybody that sends me beers. Uh, uh, you guys are awesome. You're awesome. All right, uh, we've got the ABV at 10 and a half. We've got the canned on date. We don't have the IBUs on it, guys. So uh, plain Jane silver can with the heat trunk label on it. Let's get it into the glass and see what we got going on here. Not super cloudy or hazy coming out. Not like a typical New England style beer would be. So this one may not be into that style. Not quite looking like orange juice on this one. Almost two fingers of head on that pour. It is kind of cloudy, uh, but not like the typical New England style beers. I can see light through the thin part of this glass uh, on the bottom here. A uh, nice amber color. It is a good looking beer, but I don't think it's quite, uh, I don't think they're after the New England style on this particular one. Still good looking though. To the nose we go. Yep, very nice, very pleasant, a little bit of pine, grapefruit. It's not got the typical off-the-chain hop aroma that the New England style beers, but that's probably not where they were going with this one. This one smells a little bit more like a West Coast style. Very pleasant. A hint of citrusy notes. So, uh, a enig enigma hop. So this is probably a single hop IPA where a lot of times they'll use multiple hops to get those off the chain different aromas and tastes uh, on their beer. Smells very pleasant. The alcohol is definitely well hidden on the nose for 10.5%. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Cheers Jeremiah and everybody at Hop Butcher for the World. A little hint of the alcohol on this one, but it's ten and a half percent. You're not drinking a, a Budweiser here. Still very, very pleasant. Very, very nice beer. A very nice West Coast style beer. And if you're not into or tired of the uh, New England style beers, uh, this one still has a little chill haze to it, but it's not to the point like a New England style beer is going to look or taste like. Uh, the hops are not off the chain. They're not, it's not overpowering everything else in the beer. So, uh, to me it tastes like a West Coast style. Uh, triple, or, which is not a recognized style, but an Imperial uh, IPA. I'm getting a little hint of some apricots in the nose now. Very tasty beer, guys. Very, very tasty. Do the little swirly swirl in case there's any settling going on in the can. And get the back end pour in there. I'm not seeing any kind of big chunks or floaties. So I don't think there's anything that's really settled in the can. Uh, especially being a 
right at a month old. Uh, so, very nice. Guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let's go sip on it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for about, uh, not quite an hour. A little bit now. Uh, nice slicing of stuff on the glass. This is a very, very nice example of a West Coast style Imperial IPA. Especially for a single hop IPA. Uh, very tasty, guys. Not world class in my opinion. And if you say it is, I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, it is a pretty impressive alcohol. is pretty well hidden as much as it can be for a ten and a half percenter uh, and a single hop addition on top of that not using any lactose or anything like that to make it a little sweeter uh, I enjoyed it very to very tasty beer uh, and this now that I've got down to a little bit well I'm my finger in the way there it's got just a little bit of sediment in the bottom of the glass not much uh, it may still be an unfiltered beer. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have that information. But uh, I would say it probably is. I'll chug. <sighs> very nice. Very, very nice beer, guys. 93 for me on this one. Definitely an A beer. Uh, beer out of it doesn't have any scores. Probably hardly anybody is going to that site and posting anything anymore. So I just try, if they have something, I just want to throw that out there. Now, recently, they don't have anything because nobody's going there anymore. So they're dying. Uh, and even when you go there, they throw this big advertisement up and you got to wait for it to play this thing because you can't click out of it for a while. And it sits there 10 or 15 seconds before you can click out of it or it goes away. So they're throwing more advertisements on that site uh, than they used to. So <laughs> they're trying, but I don't think it's going to do any good. I think there was like two people that commented on this beer. Uh, one, two, three. Three people commented on this beer. One was 4.27, one was 4.35, and one was 4.09. So all of them were in the four range. So all of them thought it was an A beer. And over to Untapped, 1,325 people have commented on this beer. <laughs> it's sad, but it's reality, guys. Um, Sites come and go, and uh, I got a film. This one's going. Uh, tasty beer, guys. So uh, they have it at four even, which is A minus. And that's where I'm giving it a little bit better grade than a four. Uh, but I still have it in the A minus category. Uh, but the uh, upper end of the A minus category at 93. So if you've had Brain Forest from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in that fridge.